Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. In 60 seconds or so, I'm going to tell you what kind of lights you can buy so that you can start seeds indoors. If you buy lights that are specifically for grow lights, like have it stamped on the box, or you're buying something that says uh, indoor seed starting light bulbs, you're going to pay a lot more than doing it this way. You can go to any Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, find fluorescent tubes. These are T8 tubes. They're all labeled. Remember that, T8. When you look for the bulbs, you want to Flip it over and you want to look for something that's called lumens and kelvin. This has a lumens rating of 2600. You want over 2000 lumens on your bulb, the higher the better. And you want 6500K 6500 or 6500 kelvin. That is the uh, color of daylight. You want to look to see what kind of bulb you're buying, T8. If you buy the bulbs that way, then you have to buy a fixture like this. You want to make sure that it's a T8 fixture and the bulbs will go in there. You want to set up two of them, get any kind of rack, have the lights about two or three inches above your seed starts, leave them on for 16 hours when they're starting. About two weeks after germination, you can bring the lights down to about 14 hours a day. If you pick up lights like the one down here, it may be an LED, oh those are the tubes. The one up here is an LED system. It's all contained and you want to do the same thing. You want to just look on the boxes that you buy. Make sure the lumens again is over 2000. That's light intensity and you want the Kelvin to be 6500K. It doesn't get any higher than that. That's all the basics for buying lights and setting up your grow light stations. Please subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing one to two minute videos all year just getting to answering a question or answering a topic that people have about vegetable gardening. Thanks for watching.